everyone and welcome back to my channel La Modeliste. Today I will demonstrate how to properly apply the 9 contour guidelines for the basic bodice. Contour guidelines are applied to the basic bodice to eliminate gapings and allowances resulting in the perfect fit for our designs. And there are 9 contouring principles that can help us achieve the correct way of fitting the bodice. Furthermore, I will demonstrate four different kinds of necklines and how to apply the contouring principles to each one. You will find all of these necklines included in this tutorial, so let's dive in. To start off, trace your front bodice on your pattern paper. And do not forget to draw in the bust radius or the bust circumference. And close and distribute the shoulder bust dart to the waist dart. First contour guideline is for the cutout necklines. Find the halfway of the front neckline and mark. From the halfway mark, square in a line going to the bust point or apex. From the halfway line, mark out to of an inch or 0.6 cm. This mark should touch the bus radius or circumference line. And square in lines to the bus point and the front neck line. And this is the contour for the cutout neck lines. This contour can be applied to V-neckline, strapless neckline, scoop and square necklines, asymmetric neckline, Batu and Sabrina necklines, and so on. Second contour guideline is for the cutout armholes. From the shoulder tip, square in a line going to the bust apex. From this line, Mark in for its of an inch or 1.27 cm at the bust radius and square in lines to the shoulder tip and bust point. And this is the contour for cut out armholes. You can apply this contour guideline for halter tops and for different cut out armholes. Third guideline is for the armhole gaping. From the curve of the armhole, draw a line towards the bus apex. From the line, mark in to its of an inch or 0.6 cm. From this mark, square in a line towards the bus point. And this is the contour for the armhole to avoid keepings. You can apply this guideline for sleeveless tops, scoop armholes, and strapless designs. For it guideline is the Empire Contour. From the waist art at circumference line, mark out 3 of an inch or 1 cm each side. And redraw the waist art by squaring lines towards the waist and towards the bust point. And this is the Empire Contour. Empire Contour tightens or fits at the under bust to emphasize the bust area. You can apply Empire Contour to your bustier or strapless designs or any other fitted bodice designs. Fifth contour guideline is the side seam excess. From the side seam at underarm, mark in for its of an inch or 1.27 cm. From this mark, square in a line blending towards the waist. And this is the contour for the side seam. This guideline eliminates the extra allowance at the side seam and can be applied to bustiers, strapless designs, sleeveless designs, or any other fitted bodice designs. Apply this contour as well for the back bodice. 
Sixth guideline is the contour between the busts. From center front at bust line, mark out 3 eighths of an inch or 1 cm each side. And square in lines towards the bust point or apex. And this is the in between the busts contour. This contour reveals a little cleavage and it's perfect for bustiers, strapless designs, and V necklines. Seventh guideline is the center front neckline excess. From center front at neckline, mark in 1 eighth of an inch or 0.3 centimeter. From this mark, square in a line blending towards the waist. By the way, you can apply this approach if there's a gaping at the neckline. Check the bodice first on your dress form to determine. And contour guideline number 8 for the shoulder slope. From shoulder slope, mark down 1 eighth of an inch or 0.3 cm at the shoulder bust start. You can apply this as well for the back bodice. And square in lines towards the shoulder tip and neck tip. And this is the shoulder slope contour. You can apply this contour in any fitted bodice designs. And these are the 8 contour guidelines to get the right fit for different styles of the bodice. There's still a ninth guideline and I will demonstrate that on the last part of the video. Now let's apply these contour guidelines on 4 different necklines. Let's start with the halter design. For the halter neckline or armhole, I am going to apply first contour guideline number 7. Next, I will apply contour guideline number 2. Contour guideline number 3 And contour guidelines 4 and 5 Next, I will permanently close contour guidelines 2 and 3 And to close the contours, slash through one of the lines until the bust point Distribute the contour to the waist and tape it in place and do the same procedure to contour guideline number 3. After that, redraw the halter design. And there you go! These are the contour guidelines for the halter design. Next, let's do the contour for the v-neck line. For the V-neckline design, first I will apply contour guideline number 1. Next, I will apply contour guideline number 6. And since this is a sleeveless design, I will apply contour guideline number 3. Next, contour guideline number 8. And I've also applied contour guidelines 4 and 5. Next, I will permanently close contour guidelines 1 and 3. I will slash through one of the lines until the bust point and distribute the contour to the waist start and tape it in place. After that, I will redraw the neckline and the armhole designs.
And there you go, these are the contour guidelines for the V-neckline design. Next, let's do the contour for scoop square neckline. For the scoop or square neckline, I will apply first contour guideline number one. Next, I will apply contour guideline seven. Contour guideline number three. Contour guideline number eight. And contour guidelines four and five. Next, I will permanently close contour guidelines one and three. I will slash through one of the lines until the bust point and distribute the contour to the waist art and tape it in place. And after that, I will redraw the neckline and armhole designs. And these are the contour guidelines for the scoop or square neckline designs. Next, let's do the contour for strapless sweetheart neckline. For the strapless sweetheart neckline, I will apply first contour guideline number one. And next, I will apply contour guideline three. And now, let's apply the last contour guideline for the strapless necklines. From the shoulder bust dart line, mark out 3 of an inch or 1 cm each side at the sweetheart neckline. And square in lines towards the bust point or apex. Next, let's apply contour guideline number six. And lastly, I have applied contour guidelines four and five. Next, I will permanently close contour guidelines one, three, six, and nine. I will slash through one of the lines until the bust point. Distribute the contour to the waist dart and tape it in place. And redraw the neckline. Next, cut off the pattern from your paper. And et voila, now we have a strapless bodice with a sweetheart neckline. Contouring is essential for the basic bodice as it helps us determine the correct fit of a garment. With numerous neckline and armhole designs available, contouring plays an important role in achieving the ideal fit for each and every garment. Anyway guys, I hope this tutorial gave you enough tips on how to apply the contouring principles for the basic bodice. And if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to comment down below and I will reply as soon as possible. And if you are not subscribed yet to my channel La Modelise, make it sure to hit that subscribe button and if you like this video, give it a huge thumbs up and I will see you guys again on the next tutorial. A bientôt!